Is this thing on? Oh dear. Good morrow, everybody, and happy Easter. Anyway, so today I will be showing you how to make this dress. The live-action Cinderella is one of my all-time favorite movies. So this dress I have made inspired by Cinderella's work dress in light of the current situation, which includes um, social distancing and not seeing anybody and having to stay in my house for hours on end. I was unable to just go to the store and buy fabric. I went up in my attic and I looked around and I saw this bed sheet. I said, that will work. I have made a dress out of a bed sheet. Enjoy the video. The neighbors are watching. Get your bed sheet and hope that once your mother sees your wonderful garment you have made, she will forget all about the fact that you cut up her bed sheet. Cut out two back panels and three front panels in order to create the bodice pieces. The front panels should create a downward facing V. You are also going to want to cut out some lining panels for each piece. I used some white cotton. Next, pin your lining and front panels right sides together. Then sew along the edges. Be sure to leave a small opening about two fingers wide so you can flip your pieces inside out. Oh, and that's the next step. Flip all of your pieces inside out. Now we're going to iron down all of our pieces. Flip your front bodice pieces right sides together and sew. You should end up with something like this. Place your front bodice pieces and back bodice pieces right sides together. Now sew along the sides and straps right sides together. Since we are making a Cinderella inspired dress, I would advise you to go outside and catch a wild animal. Now don't worry, he's not poisonous, but he is extremely photogenic. Oh, little guy. Now back to the project. You're going to want to create this little ruffly insert thing by gathering some fabric. I did this by hand stitching and then pulling the fabric tight. Next I sewed this piece right sides together with the bodice. Try your bodice on continuously to make sure it has the proper fit. Now you're going to want to hem the poofy piece so that you have a ruffly edge. Next, I sewed some hook and eye closures to the back of my bodice. For the sleeves, measure the circumference of your armhole. Also measure the length of your arm, or however long you want your sleeves to be. Now you're going to want to cut out two sleeve shapes, although I wouldn't really follow my directions on this because I had to sew and seam rip these sleeves quite a few times, so just figure it out. Just remember, you can always take your sleeves in if they're too big, but you can't let them out if they're too small. I wanted my sleeves to be a little bit shorter, so I decided to cut and hem them. For the skirt, I cut out a rectangular panel 5 yards wide by however tall I am, and then I gathered it into a waistband. For the back of the skirt, I cut about 4 to 5 inches down, and then I used snaps in order to create closures. I also added pockets to this skirt in order to make it more practical and fun. If you'd like a separate pocket tutorial, comment down below. I'd be happy to make one. If you're wondering why I'm wearing so many different outfits throughout this video, it's because I made this dress over the course of a week. The hat is from Target, and I just put a band of blue cloth around it in order to make it match.
well, everybody, and have a wonderful Easter. <laughs>